Morning, ma'am. Oh, morning, dear. I can't eat all that. Craig, many a starving third world person will be glad, glad of your chump chops. chops. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's not breakfast, that's a delicatessen. Craig, I do not want to come back on Monday and find you a skeleton of your former shadow. Mum, I'll never eat everything you've left for me. The little light at the back of the fridge is blotted out by bits of Tupperware full of Margaret Fulton. <laughs> Don't joke about Margaret Fulton, Craig. She's Sarah Lee's mother. <laughs> That. The only ones to get through that in a weekend would be Dad's greyhounds. That is for Gaya Kubra and Rep Colad, Craig. He should hire them out as sumo wrestlers. Craig, you will be all right, won't you? Because hmm? I know someone who'd be only too happy to stay here for the weekend with you. Oh, who'd you have in mind? Uncle Bob and Auntie Merle, and Greta and Bruno, and Mr and Mrs Wilkins, and Bruno's parents, and the local MP. You'll do anything for a vote. No, Mum. <laughs> I'll be okay. I can't study with people around. Oh, well, all right. I've left all your fresh hankies by the door so you won't forget. And I've tied a $10 note in the corner of each one. Oh. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, plenty are there? 37. Oh, great. I hate to run out of clean money hankies. Oh, good boy, Craig. I'll miss you, Craig. I'll miss you too, Mum. Well, that's it. We're not going. <laughs> Mum, you're going. It's about time you started using the caravan again. Even if it is setting concrete down at Fairydale Caravan. <laughs> yes, poor Bessie. But if your father hadn't sworn at that ready-mix driver... Well, what do you say to him? <laughs> he called him a Catholic Mick Pope breeder. <laughs> Well, why'd he do that? He thought ready mix were test tube Catholics. <laughs> Dad should take his head down to the shop and get a refund on the empty. Soap and water, Craig. There is nothing wrong with your father's head. Just got a mouth in it, that's all. Where is he, anyway? Ah, oh, he's saying goodbye to all his friends before we go. Well, who? Well, you know, the victor and the barbecue and Neville, of course. <laughs> Morning, dear. That Neville's a really bonds a little concrete Aboriginal fell. I'll miss him this weekend. Oh, he'll miss you too, Ted. Well, that's it. We're not going. <laughs> of course you're going. Take Neville with you. Could do, could do. What about Ernie, the compost tumbler? Well, you'll have to take the compost tumbler. It's attached to your shoulders. Listen, boy, I've had quite enough of your smart-ass university head attitude. If I say we're not going to Fairy Dell because I'll miss the things I know and trust and love in sickness and in health, then we're not. Oh, well, Uncle Bob's the only one to use Bessie these days. He doesn't use it, he pollutes it. <laughs> First time I let him use it, I found a prawn head in the water pump. <laughs> Dad, that was 15 years ago. You haven't been back since. What about Gaya Cooper and Repco Lad? Who's going to pour the, the Ribena on their muesli? <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, I will. Oh, well, I'll just give them another feed before we go. You ready, Phil? Yes, Ted. All set. Mm, I wish he'd take his dogs with him. Oh, he won't do that, Craig. What? The last time he took the greyhounds away, they disgraced themselves in the Kingswood. He let the dogs in the Kingswood? Well, not actually in as such. More you're strapped to the roof rack. <laughs> All with rope and fuse wire and elastoplast and the hose. So they bit through the lot and pooped on the windscreen. <laughs> what did Dad do? Drove round and round and round in a circle at 75 miles an hour until they fell off. <laughs> uh, talk about Dizzy. I thought your father had never walk straight again. Ripco lad's not too hungry, he only ate half of his. <coughs> You're supposed to take it out of the can. Eh? Oh, roughage. Yeah, come on, Bill. Bye-bye, <laughs> Craig. Bye See bye. you Monday morning. Bye-bye, Craig. Bye, Mum. Oh. Bye, Craig. <laughs> bye, Mum. You're still here, Mum. I think I left the gas on. Thelma! <laughs> Bye, Craig. 
<laughs> Bye, Mum. Bye, Craig! Bye, Mum! <laughs> oh. Bloody square-head kraut Mercedes-Benz drivers. I'm sure he didn't even see the puddle. Bloody blind square-head kraut Mercedes drivers. <laughs> hey, we're home. It's only Sunday. Craig, surprise. Oh, Craig, there you are. Good boy. Hello, Dad. Craig? What have you been doing to your eyesight? Uh, uh eyesight? Uh, I haven't got any eyesight. Uh, <laughs> wasn't me. What eyesight? Right, now, now, Craig, be sensible. Your eyesight. Oh, that eyesight. <laughs> My eyesight. I thought you were talking about Albert eyesight. <laughs> A genius seeing eye dog. <laughs> no, I was just studying too hard, that's all. <clears throat> oh, good boy, Craig. <laughs> what a strange person you're turning into. You haven't been using your father's bath water, have you? No. I always have showers. I'm by myself. Uh, how come you're home early? What's that, Craig? Huh? Are you wearing perfume? Mum, I don't wear per... Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, lots of perfume. Uh, men's perfume. It's called Neanderthal juice. <laughs> For men. It's extracted from Harry Butler. <laughs> Bloody Third Reich Luftwaffe Mercedes pilot. Ha, 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 you're home too, Dad. Don't you dad me, boy. I'm your father. <laughs> I've just been vandalised. Uh, what happened? We were two miles from home when we, when me and the Kingswood were, were bombarded with mud by a, a Hun and a four-wheel Messerschmitt. <laughs> you should put a mud flap over your window. Like me, Green Filmer. I can't do that. How can I stick my hand through when I wanted to turn right? <clears throat> Uh, why don't you use the traffic indicators? Don't you know there's an energy crisis, boy? I'm saving petrol. <laughs> what, what were you looking for, Ted? Soap, of course. Well, there's soap already in the shower, dear. Struth, almighty woman, I can't get the Kingswood in the shower. <laughs> can't even get it in a bathroom. <laughs> Bloody stupid architect forgot the roller door. <laughs> There's a cake of sunlight in the laundry. I'm not putting sunlight on the Kingswood. It'll fade the duco. <laughs> well, where's your wedge? You hide that camo of yours. Oh, it's not my camo, Ted. You bought it to make the Kingswood beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, where is it? It's in the kitchen. I'll get it. Someone should blow Germany up. Uh, Dad, uh, how come you're home a day early? Because your Uncle Bob was the last one to use the caravan, of course. Jeez, I hate him. Even if he is my mother's. What'd he do this time? Put a crab in the porter potty? <laughs> Worse than that, boy. He left an Asian refo on the top bunk. What? He sold the caravan to a family of Vietnamese boat people. <laughs> Rice bubbles everywhere. <laughs> But it's not his to sell. Try telling that to Mr. and Mrs. Ho Saigon, I did. <laughs> well, what'd he do? I told him, I said, listen, you little sponging refo Asian. <laughs> Just because your eyes won't open all the way, don't think, <laughs> don't think I can't see what you're up to. Yeah. Just when he had the English language by the throat, I suppose. <laughs> Too right. I said, listen, we didn't go over to your grubby little country and blow it apart just to give you the privilege of being conned by a Kingswood owner's brother. <laughs> you take your grotty little children and your blanket and piddle off. Well, what'd he do? He stuck a wick in a porter gas cylinder and threw it at me. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. Pity he missed. Of course he missed. I was behind your mother. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? She had the cylinder filled for them and told them they could stay as long as they like. But he's stupid woman. She should face west and ride out the ode a hundred times for doing that. Here we are, Ted. Bloody mud-splashing Nazi. What would you like for lunch, Ted? Sauerkraut or bamboo shoots? <laughs> Watch it, Thelma. Did you stay in the motel last night or what? Yes, dear. The Fairy Dale Caratel, no vacancies. Oh, no hot water, no curtains, no breakfast. It's good to be home, Craig, knowing we won't wake up in the morning itching. <laughs> which reminds me in the head. I'll just go and make your bed. Okay. Ah! Ah, no! No, no, it's all right. Um, I'll make the bed. Oh, but 
Craig, you're a man now. You don't make beds. Making beds is my work. Uh, yeah, I know, but uh, 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 Dad's calling you. I can't hear a thing. You must be deaf. Uh... <laughs> it's very faint. I think he might have locked himself in the boot of the Kingswood oh, again. Oh, not again. I wish he'd take a jack out before he Mr. Sheen's it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, that was close, CB. Yeah, they ought to phone before they drop in like that. Yeah. The older generation's Victorian standard of morality just forced me to hide in your wardrobe. You didn't. Have you ever tried to jump into a pair of razzmatazz while you're standing on a roller skate? <laughs> and half a... Flagon of brand of vino. Okay, you've made your point. Now, look, you better duck off. Okay. Oh, I trod on these. Uh, what are they? Mushrooms. They were growing in your suit. Yeah, I was... <laughs> I was cultivating penicillin. <laughs> Liar. Yeah, look, I'll see you at uni. <gasps> okay. Oh, Bye, CB. Oh, Jennifer, Jennifer. Oh, oh, CB, CB, oh, CB. Oh, CB. Jennifer, Jennifer. His name's Craig. <laughs> And his father's not in the boot. Uh, look, Mum, an Avon lady. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> uh, no, not really. This is Jenny. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, sprung like a mattress. Yeah. What do you reckon we should do? Hide in the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice peas. They look pretty green. You sure they're ripe? <laughs> uh, Jenny's a nice girl, isn't she? Bright, smart, wonderful mind. You know she's got an IQ of 136. <laughs> Mind you, her father thinks there's a decimal point after the three. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously, though, um, one day she'll make a terrific doctor. Or maybe for more than one day, maybe for weeks. <laughs> You're going to tell Dad? Aren't you talking to me? Oh, come on, Mum, this is ridiculous. Excuse me, Craig Rodney Book, but you are blocking my sink. I'm not moving till we sort this out. <laughs> you come in for a pee, Dad? <laughs> Listen, boy, I've had quite enough of your smutty university Shakespeare humour. What's wrong with your mother? Ah, oh, she's just upset because she dropped the peas. Oh. Look, Mum, I'm sure when you and Dad were young, you both used to, Bella, you know... Where's the pino clean? But then again, maybe not. <laughs> but I bet you had a hard time keeping Uncle Bob away. Pickle me, Grandmother woman, you deaf. Where's the pino clean? There's Mercedes mud all over me steel cats. <laughs> oh, I'll fix it. <laughs> Phil, ha. you wouldn't get peas all over the floor if you just do what my mother did. That's uh, get into the bathtub and shill them. <laughs> now there's no need to sulk at your knitting, is there? Even if it was all your own stupid bloody fool. <laughs> there. Now, where's the pino clean? Oh! oh my God. She bit me. Oh, bloody ring bark, you're Datsun. <laughs> I think I'll go this way. <laughs> oh, hello, Mum. Hello, Mrs. B. Morning. You're home a day early. It's a free country. Bob Anset told me. <laughs> Mum, what's wrong? I came home a day early. And if you don't like my freedom of right to come home a day early, Greta, you can just go and wash your wetics in Araldite. <laughs> Look, Mum. <laughs> I can tell there's something wrong. You've been hurling your peas again. I came home a day early. So? Well, Craig told me that your father was in the boot again, and then I found out that he'd been here all night with that female genius girl. Who, Dad? Oh, Rita. <laughs> Be sensible. Craig, all night with young, young... Jenny. Soap and water, Bruno. I'm sorry. Mind if I have a beer? It's a free country. Anyway, it's only Ted's beer. 
Oh, Mum, what's all the fuss about? Craig and Jenny are adults. Rita, they are not adults. They are animals in Maya's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> you and Bruno never did... Well, you know, did you? Did you? <laughs> well... I think I'll go and talk to Craig. <laughs> Well, a little bit. A little bit. Greta, it is a yes or no question. What sort of an answer is a little bit? Well, a lot then. <laughs> you, you, you won't stay in school. Hey, no, Mum, he's at university. Greta. Hey, oh, Ma. Oh, yes, Ted. But where's the pino clean? In the laundry. Oh. Hello, Dad. Oh, you're here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thought so. I could see you. <laughs> where's the log? Bludging my beer in usual immigrant fashion, I suppose. Dad, surely he can have one of your beers. Yeah, sure he can have one of my beers, as long as I can leave it in the bottle when I shove it down his throat. <laughs> money on the fridge, Walk. money on the fridge. Hi, Mr. Bullpit. Don't you hallow any of your bullpits to bullpits to me, mate, you drunken little Grasby lover. <laughs> you didn't leave the money on the fridge for the beer. I left 80 cents last week. I suppose you didn't see it. In Aus the fridge. Australian money? No, cowrie shells. <laughs> of course it was Australian money. Just watch it, Wog. Being a minority group won't save your head from being shoved inside your left boot. <laughs> Greta, if only he'd been honest with me. If only he'd said, Mum, Jenny's going to spend the weekend with me while you and Dad are away. Oh, what would you have said? Nothing. I'd have locked him in his room and thrown away the door. <laughs> what are you looking for? Oh, money, of course. Oh, yes, of course. And keep your cloven wog hooves off my furniture. All right, all right. You got the money, my feet are off your precious coffee table. Are you satisfied? Can I drink the beer now? Where'd you park that decaying lump of Valiant? <laughs> it's all right, I parked it out in the street. Which side? This side. <gasps> Not next to my garbage tin. <laughs> I'm not having my garbage tin catching purple valiant rust. <laughs> you go and shift it over a cliff. <laughs> Make sure your seatbelt's done up. I wouldn't want you to get thrown clear. Your garbage bin is plastic. What about the little wire things that hold the lids down, Mr. Clever? <laughs> One sniff of valiant rust and they shrivel up to the size of staples. All right, I give up. I'm going home. Well, where you come from, they probably don't have any garbage bins. Oh. You're bloody cold! Bloody wog! I've been snapped frozen! <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, I don't want to talk to you! Daddy, stop it! No. I hear the door crack. Oh, oh, you put him down. He might be a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> now, Mum, this is Jenny's father. <laughs> oh, my crumbs and cutlets. Do you put you with his father. Ted! Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Bullpit, but Daddy seems to think that Craig and I were here by ourselves last night. We weren't, were we, Mum? I mean, he'd kill me if it was true. He's very narrow-minded. Yeah, as a kid, he got his head stuck in the Jaffa lion. <laughs> well, he's not worldly wise like you, Mrs. Bullpit. I mean, I bet you watch Mike Walsh. <laughs> well? I... I... Don't know what all the fuss is, Mr. Uh, Jenny's father. <laughs> we, we were all here last night. Yes, no, we sat up all night watching Julie Anthony records. <laughs> well, as much as I distrust suburban housewives, I, I could have been a little uh, hasty. Oh. Elmo, where's the silver? There's Mercedes mud all over me hubbies. <laughs> Strike me, Catholic, it's him. Uh, uh, Dad, this is Mr. O'Brien. It's bloody Hitler. <laughs> What are you saying, man? Don't you talk to me, mate, or I'll goose step your Mercedes straight up your nose. <laughs> what about my Mercedes? You used it to, to blitzkrieg my Kingswood. Why don't you put the turret and the barrel back on top of it? <laughs> calm down, man, calm down. Nostradamus was right. Australia's being invaded by Hitler O'Brien in a Mercedes <laughs> number plate number DOB 566. You're mad. There's nothing mad about me. 
You get that staff wagon out of Wombat Crescent, or, or I'll sue the whole of the RSL Snooker Club onto you within a week. <laughs> I am a doctor, and I say you are absolutely mad. Oh, no, 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 he's not mad. He's just Ted. He's like this all the time, Mr. O'Brien. He's all right. You're right, I'm all right. And if I say you muddied up the Kingswood on the way home from Fairy Dell this morning, you did. Just a little bit mad. <laughs> Obvious manic psychosis, Daddy. A pardon, dear? Uh, silly as a head with its chook cut off. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't been away at all. Hey, Phil, you know very well that Fairy Dell's full of Vietnamese and Bessie's got a wardrobe full of rice bubbles and this mad war criminal made me wash the Kingswood with Camay. Of course we've been away. <laughs> God, he is mad. <laughs> I'm off now, Mum. Oh, good boy, Craig. Uh, by the way, thanks for defending us against Jenny's father this morning. He's quite a nice man, really, when you get to know him, isn't he? <laughs> no. <laughs> he told me he was. <laughs> Talking about those this morning events, Craig, which I don't want to, but they are burning a hole in my tongue. You and Jenny won't... won't ever again, will you? No, Mum. Say no, Craig. No, Craig. I know I can trust you, Craig. No, Mum. Oh, good boy, Craig. <laughs> oh, Ted. Kingswood all clean now? Clean as a Pope's joke book. <laughs> uh, Dad, I'm off to the library. Can I borrow the car? The Kingswood? You're not taking the Kingswood. I just spackled up the steel cats. <laughs> I don't know how they keep getting those grooves in them. The cats? Oh. Ted, the cats? I just put petrol in the engine thingy. Oh, thanks, Mum. Yes. Oh, by the way, Dad, uh, you know how you've been hosing the car all afternoon? Non-stop for five hours. The water meter's hemorrhaging. Yeah, well, I forgot to tell you before, but uh, one of the back windows is open and high tide in the Kingswood was about, oh, three feet. Crikey, mother of God! Oh. <laughs>